Hello everyone who may be watching now or later and welcome to Hillian's Hub and why is it with me Hillian along with Rekir the Hungry and let's see oh, oh, apparently I have the source for Technomates turned off so enjoy a flash view of actually I should put on the sidebars as well okay me just being dumb and yes I'm using the same trick as before by just basically putting the uh, the cover art on uh, behind it twice to make those sidebars it's a lot easier than cutting them precisely <laughs> but yeah welcome oh back to the uh, techno major return of eternity last time we got started with this game and okay it, apparently it counts the time a bit weirdly because we were playing this game for two hours it only, re it only says we only did less than an hour okay that yeah that is a bit weird it, it must be its internal internal clock running slow or something. But yeah, last time we started with this game, uh, where we're playing as Melvin here, who is a uh, a hybrid between the two humanoid species of this world, the Dreamers and the Steamers. So he's a Dreamer Steamer. Uh, but that means that he has seems to have neither magical ability nor mechanical know-how. So he is... He is not blessed with both oh, the best of both worlds. He's instead mediocre in both. <laughs> okay. Bit of yak of all trades then. Yeah. And this is going to be annoying because we're already low on health potions now due to the fact that yeah, the, the game doesn't really want me moving and attacking at the same time. Like I oh. Are you streaming this properly? Hey, you over there! Can you please help me? I can't get out of here! The tunnels behind me have collapsed and I can't get over the chasm! I've been trapped here for days! And here's Rum Tuck, the missing miner. Stay calm, pal. I'll find a way to get you out of there. Okay, don't worry. I'll stay calm. But please hurry! I thought his name was Rum Tuck. Rumtack? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, then, then it, his name is something else in Swedish, then. Basically, it mean, would mean Rum Pool. <laughs> well, he did get himself stuck here. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, combat might be a bit annoying. Uh, with me being able, with me being a whole lot less mobile. You said to sc share the screen with me today a bit smaller than other times. Yeah, that, that's because I forgot to do this. Uh, there we go. There we go. No, I, can see better. I, forgot, I forgot to full screen it. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, wait. Oh, no, they, be right back. Okay. Ooh, we you know got to... something today. Yeah, we're already out of healing potions. Yeah. If. Hmm. Oop. Yeah. I, there's a. There's a bit of a window be, or beyond. But when I stop moving, before I can attack, and now, yeah, I, we can't get. We're going to die there. Oh dear. And I'm back. Welcome back. I was wondering what I was what you needed to, meant to do. Basically, I realized I forgot to take the order in today. <laughs> so, it's really yeah. lizards. Yeah, I, I, I just sat down and I no, instantly noticed what's that smell. I realized it was me, so I just I went to clean myself up. open with dynamite. And uh, yeah, dead end, apparently. <laughs> we need dynamite to continue on. But we can't get dynamite because the dynamite is guarded. Uh, no, no, Helian, don't you see? Hmm? My relatives here, all the dynamite. Uh, they're too, a bit, they're a bit too uh, weak of a flame to <laughs> to blow up the entire rock. So yeah, we have to get back out. <laughs> have you heard how it sounds when it breathes fire at you? <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, basically everything that throws fireballs or something of the kind it makes the same noise as that, if my memory so, serves me correctly. 
It sounds like a bloody firing cannons at you. <laughs> Briefing cannons in this case. Or spitting mm. cannon? But you, you get what I mean. <laughs> I'll stay here in case Rumtok finds his own way out. Okay. Um, hmm. Actually, let's see. We have this oil can. We have torches. We have empty soup plates. Chalk. And the cats. Uh, who wants... Whose cat is it again? What do you want here, Greenhorn? No one is allowed into the... Hmm. I'm guessing we'll need... I, I guess we need to find whoever the cat belongs to. Uh, give it back. And then we can get what we need to progress, I think. Uh, yeah, and I think you, you do stew for the shed card. Yeah. Let's see. Seal the burst steam pipe. Solve the scrapyard riddle. Riddle. The scrapyard is blocked off, though. Uh, we can't rescue Rumtuck without dynamite. For dynamite, we need to get past Barris, but we, uh, we need to pull a prank on Barris to get him out of the way. Gain access to your father's house. Hmm. Okay, see. now I know I misheard you that badly. What did you hear this time? I thought you said gain access to your father's uh, house. And yeah, I could the question of what do you need this must be my Danish father's access? House. We need the key. Actually, I, I think I remember how we get that key, even though it has been some years again since I played this game. Slay a monkey? And no, we need to head over to the blacksmith. I think he has the key. Or at least can make one. Uh, maybe not. Your father's house is all locked up. Hmm. Now I'm beginning to understand why I haven't seen him for days. I can make you a spare key for the door if you fetch me some xantium ore from the mine over there. I would go myself, but I can't leave the forge fire. Okay, so again at a bit of a dead end until we get well deeper into the mine. And I think we searched for these before. Hmm. Maybe? Okay, I'll give a small spoiler, I guess. Uh, then again, the, the game has been pretty obvious about it. The way we get rid of Darius is to mix castor oil into his soup or stew. The problem is, who, who the hell do we get it from? If you're looking for something... Have you forgotten? Hmm? hmm? Or do we need another type of food? For, if we, did we get it first time for the kitchen? Yeah, it's stew. We can get free refills. I still think your ears look funny, but if you are sure that everything's all right with you, then don't waste any more of my time. <laughs> to be honest, they they do look normal enough on this. <laughs> they look a lot less pointed than in the uh, rest of the game. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, who? Old Rake's? Kitten, it is. But who the hell is a rake? Hmm. Wait, wait. Can you rephrase that? Hmm. Old rake's kitten. It's a person, Ilya, not a what? Iris is yeah. always on the lookout for someone who has not <laughs> only strength and a sharp blade, but also the courage to go down into the mine to rescue Rumtok, my aunt's husband. Okay, I didn't actually expect some of them to say different things. Barris is incorruptible. Except when food is on the table. <laughs> Wait. His name is Romrick. Yeah. Uh... If I were Tumpo, I wouldn't just leave my cooking pot standing uncovered on the stove. Castor oil is much too easy to get these days. Uh-oh. And I can also translate Romrick to Swedish. And it mean? Rum rich. <laughs> okay, so we're drunk. But at least it's rich on rum. Um... Or is it room or... Of late I seem to forget how 
in which manner we spell room rom. Let's see. I'm guessing maybe we find castor oil at the trader, which should be this one. Nope. Wait. Oh yeah. It. R U M is room. It's Swedish for rooms. Wow. Not you a really drink. Okay, do you sell... Hello and welcome! Do... Let's see, he has ma the magic cube. We could buy that. Uh, and note, large healing potion, small healing potion, magic, and combined. I, I believe if you mix red and blue, you actually get green. But instead, here it's yellow. And then we have anti-venom. Is it me, or does the cube look like a squared meatball with cheese on top and ketchup? Oh, I see what happened. He only... We can sell chalk to him, but only in batches, so okay. And we can sell torches as well. Okay, we don't really have much need for a torch, and let's get that so, well, we can strengthen ourselves. Yeah, I think we're going to want to focus on strength and constitution with basically any everything. And yeah, we still have no nothing for these. And we should probably try and upgrade from our dagger as soon as we can. Mm, tasty meat cube. Now where the hell do we get that castor oil again? I'm guessing it's from trade I'm guessing it's from handing back the cat. Uh, maybe it's blocked behind sealing off all the, all of the vent leaks. But I think we sealed off all the vent leaks. So Why? unless we missed something, there might be a glitch going on. He said castor oil is way too easy to find. Hmm. So no leaks easy there. Easy to find. Okay, here. Time to test you. What do you usually store oil in? Oil canisters. But uh, this one's empty. Yes. Otherwise it would have been noted. Uh, what else do you store oil in? Drums. Yes. Drums. Barrels. Bottles. Yeah, we'd still need to find some first. Or something that has it. This one is completely sealed. Hmm. We should have listened to Godon's warnings. On the other hand, his knowledge didn't help him much in the end. Shut up. Hmm. Do I need to go through every of the steamers to find out who the cat belongs to? Look out for the escaping steam. Unfortunately, it still hasn't been possible to repair the pipes. Can you do anything to block up the holes temporarily? Yeah, this specific voice actor seems to do their lines pretty slowly for some reason. Mm, yeah. If you're looking for something... Hmm... This is... Oh, hello, we have... Oh, we haven't been here before. Okay, we <laughs> completely missed this place. Hello, my name's Allrock. And who are you, Half Pint? You don't look much like a steamer. Actually, I'm just looking for my medicine. My castor oil. Aha, found it. It's very useful and versatile. I would even give you a bottle if you would do me a favor. My sweet little cat has run away. Can you bring her back to me? Well, we solved this before we even got it in here. Wonderful! <laughs> You've brought back my beloved kitten. Here's the castor oil for you, as promised. But be careful with it, and only use it in small quantities. 
You might want to get your checked. <laughs> you might want to get your cat checked out. <laughs> they seem a bit featureless. And okay. I... Who is that voice actor then? I again. There are some of the voices that recognize the voice of, but I never learned their names. Especially since a kid that did a the read in the end credits. Yeah. Again, <laughs> Every which, kid did. Which that. kid did? Tell me uh, a kid that pays attention to the end credits. Yeah. Um, do you have any idea what other characters they might have voiced though? A cork. Oh. I wonder how oh. I could use it. Okay, that confirms that there is another leak. All right. I just need to nice. find the damn thing. And, oh, goodness. I don't recognize it. I just don't remember those characters from the top of my head. And if I remember, I'll probably remember the Swedish names by mistake. All right. Um, do you at least have an idea of what shows they were in? Oh. What sort of? Old shows. 80s, 90s, prehistoric. Both is a nice so comical case. All right. Where well, is really this used to do a lot of old characters and I I don't think I've heard him in, a, in quite a while. Okay. Hmm. I think most of what I hear him is through YouTube and other people play old games and may hear him again. But then again, it's old games or old cartoons. Uh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I remember something. I think I remember something here. I think he was in the English version of Dungeon and Dragons, the cartoon. The, the Dungeon Master, one. maybe? Maybe all one of the side characters happens that he, he... He might be the gnome, yeah. Or, <laughs> again, one of the side characters. Maybe. And looking at OBS, I just noticed that I forgot to resize... Uh, uh, resize things a bit with the new hole that I made in the overlay. Uh, basically, I've been shaving some pixels off on the top and bottom to make th things fit better sideways. Uh, if I shave off nine more pixels, it should finally be able to fit... Uh, uh, it should finally be able to fit a 16 by 9 screen without any gaps on the sides, but yeah, seems I forgot to do that. Uh, with, uh, seems I forgot to adjust the uh, yeah <laughs> the sidebars and the and the video capture for Technomage. So yeah, we'll have an annoying little gap going around the top and bottom then for a bit. Oh dear, hmm. that is barely noticeable. At least not not if you focus on what's going on in the screen. Yeah. <clears throat> Still, I'm going to try and adjust things a bit so that it'll be a, it'll make for a better fit. Yeah, it, it could be worse. Like, something Looks I like think stew. I heard. But I don't know what kind. Perhaps I should pour in some castor oil all the same. Oh no. <laughs> We're just going to destroy whatever reputation this guy has left, don't we? Then again, he, alre he, he already lost most of his there. reputation. Now it's in the stew. It hardly smells of anything, but I'm definitely not going to try it now. I'm curious oh, about dear. what other work Melvin's voice actor might have done after this, though. Many old games as well. Now, my boy, would you like a portion of my famous steamer stew? He must well. An I excellent think I think... choice. A half pint like you needs some. I think I heard him from King's Quest, the old I'll ones. Cook, I and love it too. Tomorrow the same will surely do. I I think we can get just so many clips of sound and video out of this game. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a feeling that song may fit you and me. Mm, that smells funny. Have I used too much garlic? But you're not tasting it yourself? All the same, who will notice? Certainly not that little dreamer out there. 
yeah. He's not even going to taste test his own food. Smells a bit funny, but who's gonna notice? Yeah, you say that right to my face. Uh, yeah, as Gordon Ramsay would say, taste test your freaking food. Yeah. Like, uh, it's not Hell's Kitchen. In in the Netherlands, the, the show is called uh, Orlog in the Koken, uh, War in the Kitchen. Um, it's, it's basically that show of him where he goes around to failing restaurants and tries to help save them. And yeah, nine out of ten times, it's either just a delusional chef and or a delusional owner. That's the cause of all the trouble. Oh dear, and please never say that if you ever visit in Sweden. <laughs> I think people may misunderstand you gravely. Uh, I'll ask what you mean after we poison the guard. Oh, but that's very kind of you. Stew, my absolutely favorite food. Yum! <laughs> oh, what's happening to me? Oh, uh, I think something awful is happening in my belly. That stew's got a funny aftertaste. Oh, that stew is doing terrible things to my insides. I think I'll have to leave you for a second, but don't go away. I'll be right back. Just stay here and don't let anyone into the shed, understand? Oh, I'd better hurry. I'll give him props, he makes it sound uh, as uncomfortable as it probably would be. Poor oh, bastard. Right, I was to say, as Swede, if you say that and they don't know you're Dutch, they may accidentally think you just said, uh, ball, ball in the cock. <laughs> or bull in the cock, depending on how you phrase it. But yeah, I mean, you can see why I warn you now. Yeah. You're probably getting a lot of funny looks. So basically I would have said cock and ball torture or something like that. Well, we switched the words around and we'd be most disturbing. And now we get upgraded to a sword. And we've already been told how to swap these around. It is a bit sensitive, though, when you're moving around, and we're going to get a hell of a lot more weapons than just a sword and a dagger. And yeah, of course, this thing has a lot more range as well. And yes, there will be a battle axe. Also, just a small little thing. That's how we open this door. <laughs> to hit the, push the, the bag. Are you sure that's a bag? Yeah, it's a it looks punching like back. A, for me, it looks more like a, It actually looks disgusting. It looks like a... Bag made of skin and teeth. Well, see, looking at the time with the fantasy setting, it is probably just made out of skin. Well, that's basically what the tanned leather is. Or yeah, but leather. it looks a bit more... Uh, like fleshy skin, if you get what I mean. Like it's like if it was still alive. Yeah. Okay, well, this sword should help us with these a lot better. I say as I can't get a single freaking hit on them. Oh yeah, that's a hell of a lot more damage than the dagger. Yeah. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to get used to fighting like a I'm playing on a PlayStation controller. Okay, that way. Or and Hmm, not even sure I don't know actually what consoles this game might have been released on. It looks a bit more advanced than uh, PlayStation would have been. 
or maybe Dreamcast? Think, no, Dreamcast was before. It, I think places you want could handle this just fine. Hmm. Wow, but not only pretty impressive. What the? Yeah, just blow us all straight through without blowing ourselves up. Painfully? I could certainly blow this open with dynamite. Uh, yeah, we had only one, so we'll have to go down deeper. Yeah. Huh, I just remembered something. And I, I know that two words in Dutch I misunderstood uh, early on, but to find the letter lyrics, translated lyrics. No. First time I heard Wood on Herst. I hope I pronounced that rest, right? Yeah. I thought it meant wooden horse. <laughs> I think you've said this one before. <laughs> yeah, do not on stream, do I think? But uh, later, I realized, oh, it means Odin rules. Yeah. Ah, those bastards. But yeah, I, feel, I did feel a bit dumb. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Wodan being the Dutch name for Odin. This fun fact: ancient Dutch did worship Odin. Just like the Germans, just everyone had their different name variations of them. Uh, let's see. Oh, Netherlands had Voodan, Germans had Voodan, Sweden had Uden, and I think Danes and Norway had Udin. Okay. Yeah, definitely going to need to get used to controlling like this. Uh, you get used to it sooner or later. Ah, yeah, Otherwise, we just have to uh, give you some uh, control exercise. <laughs> and every time you do it wrong, I just uh, shoot a stun gun at you. <laughs> Was that a nod? Alright. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we should keep in mind to try and avoid enemy spawners. I don't even know if we can actually destroy them or not. And here's a cave-in. I may not be surprised if we can destroy them with a spell or something. Now we don't have any spell at the moment. Hmm. Okay, we need to do something with a minecart here. Wait, are you sure you don't have spells? Where are we... We checked earlier, we don't have any, and yeah, yeah, the game would have notified us if we'd gotten one. Huh, okay, that's weird for- I don't remember, in the very beginning, the uh, mother said she t taught you some dreamer uh, tricks. Because I would expect it would mean uh, spells? And not all things have to be magical. And we, should, we definitely managed to trick one of the kids into thinking we could conjure balloons. Okay. We have to move this thing around a bit, fill it up. Uh, oh, hello. Yes, we Wait, I, actually... I will say this. Hmm. This is probably the only old game with this style i ever seen from that year that had these light effects. Yeah, the light effects are going to get a lot more impressive as we go. And apparently Beanie actually knows of this game. What? Yeah. I, I, talk, I brought it up during one of his streams recently, and he said, I haven't heard from that game in a long time. Or something to that effect. What? Okay, how did he know about it? That's the tipper wagon loading station. If I had a lever or something, I could repair the mechanism and use the tipper wagons. Okay, that's how we fill it up. Uh, we don't have a lever, though. Oh, dear. Right, we, we have to in, uh, investigate, I mean, interrogate Beanie later. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm curious... Uh, we're gone? Uh, that was it, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm curious, how, didn't you say it was only released in Europe? I could have been wrong on that, and I see a box there that we haven't broken. We'll break it on the way back. Because now yeah, that we have extra dynamite... Oh, wait. 
Did you learn something interesting else about this game today? Uh, the fact that OBS actually knows it, that <laughs> surprised and confused me for a bit. But I made of uh, something about the creators. Uh, yeah, apparently uh, Sunflowers, the creators of this game, uh, are also the people who originally made the Anno series. Yeah, I, 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 I know way too little about Anno. It, it's sort of a city simulator? Uh, yeah. And so you could say that uh, to you it was rather anonymous. <laughs> Anonymous. <laughs> oh, How's weather today? Oh, thank you, my friend. Oh, man, how I look forward to seeing my wife Nanda again. What's your name, anyway? I've never seen you before in Steamer Town. My name's Melvin, and I come from Dreamer Town. First, calm yourself. Do you think you can make it back alone? I've got something else to do down here. Okay. Oh, thank you again for saving my life. By the way, I was just about to repair the tipper wagon loading station, and I needed this crowbar. Here, take it. Perhaps you can make use of it down here. Uh, is he right? Well, uh, he's bleeding all over, so, uh... <laughs> oh, so I was not imagining it then. Nope. Three ages and up, people. <laughs> yeah. It, the age is three and up. How did I mess that up? Wait, didn't you say it right the first time? Uh, I said, I think I said three ages and up. <laughs> Which is a bit different than uh, age three and up. Or ages. I think you heard both. <laughs> oh, well. Either way, we have our crowbar, which is probably one of the most That's useful it. things in gaming. Now I gaming. can use the loading station for my purpose. That purpose being to fill this thing up. Uh oh. Send it on its way. That's the tipper wagon loading station. If I had a lever. Yeah, it's already filled, so I think this should be enough. Okay. Try not to break things. Well, we are going to break one thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There we go. And now we can get in even deeper. What? That's what happens to hindrances that try to hold me up. Actually, break them slowly, they explode. Okay, uh, these uh, were uh, the things I was remembering. Uh, what the? Oh, that's well, nice. yeah. That's that's one way to get installed new value flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, some sort of rock mimics. Yeah, the Starbound had more like rock crabs. Yeah. Is one more like rock squids? Oh, and now we're back at the start. Okay. Um, we are lacking in dynamites. Uh, You're also see. lacking in TNT. <laughs> yeah. Now we did yes, see that was some so earlier. Wait, wait, you saw TNT. I could certainly blow this open with dynamite. Yeah, it's uh, where we found rum talk, but I think it's... Yeah, we'll need to jump around a bit for it. Uh, oh, actually, we can go this way. More of these pandemonium-sounding goblin things. Yeah, they make exactly the same noises as those you know, troll things in pandemonium. Which is a different old game. Is that, it is just a footage sound. It, it was used in many old games. Yeah. And, yeah, we can't seem to damage it, so we'll just have to keep moving. Oh. 
These rock golems again. Okay, I hope you don't respawn. And a freaking lizards. Okay, here's another elevator. At first, let's fill back up a bit. Okay, it's. Running is going to be a bit annoying because when I you do this, Melvin doesn't actually turn. Oh, it's because I'm hope I'm moving forward that he generally does turn along. And it does make it a bit annoying when they get up close and personal. Okay, anything hidden here or is this just the same way back? Uh, yeah, we've gone backwards, okay. Let's just lose. Let's just not lose too much health to these lizards. I don't think there are too many respawning enemies, but then again, it has been quite a while since I played this game. If you can lose these lizards, does that mean I have a chance to beat you? Maybe. It also means I'll just have to uh, put more bars on your cage. A cage? Oh. Well, you will have now. Done it! <laughs> and yeah, this won't be the last bit of platforming that we'll have to do in this game. We'll just have to be careful with it because, well, if you fall down, it's an instant death. Ugh. Don't we even want to imagine what's down there. Okay, this way. Or not this way. <laughs> A bit too early to turn. Uh, Melvin would probably be absolutely terrible with uh, <laughs> a GPS unit. Turn right here, walks into the wall. <laughs> now, I think that Destroyable walls should be around. There it is. And there's some of the ore up along with one of these things again. It's the second time I. The third time. Okay, was my timing a bit off there? I, I noticed earlier that a hit on one of the lizards did zero damage for some reason. Yeah, that's hmm. weird. Might be a, a critical fail or miss or something. This game doesn't have much relationship to Dungeons and Dragons and such, though. Rumtok told me it was you alone who saved him. I thank you, because Rumtok is my best friend. Oh. I, I gotta check a book. But I'm feeling so confused which is which uh, between rum and room in Swedish. Reason why I don't remember since I'm Swedish, I read, I read so much uh, English literature and all that. I rarely Swedish nowadays, so yeah. Yeah, it's I basically have that with English and Dutch, where I start mixing the two up accidentally. Yeah, been there. Santium, <laughs> now I can get to work straight away. I'll need the whole night to make the key, though. The best thing is to come back again tomorrow morning, and don't forget that it can be a little bit spooky in Steamer Town. I hit a bit too early there, and I like that they actually show him with <laughs> a heated key now. But yeah, that made it that made it night here, and I hope this isn't enough to cause any possible harm. But still, uh, let's very quickly move over to where I know we need to go next because we still we should still be blocked from the crypt because that is actually the end of level boss well how do I know that uh, because the manual says so uh, and uh, with that there's actually a funny uh, little thing about it I would show it but well I <laughs> camera doesn't really do much uh, it does tell about a good few levels to come uh, possibly even... No, not all... Okay. 
at least seven, eight, okay. It talks about eight levels uh, and a bit about enemies found there, but as it goes on, the description become vaguer and less accurate, and the drawings that are written also get less oh, detailed. It's strange here. What on earth is that? What's going on here? Oh, 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 it's strange here. Melvin, hello, Mel, over here. What? Uh. Melvin, yes, here. Do you know me? Yes, here. But, Mel, surely you can still recognize me? I'm your grandmother. Okay, audio is glitching a bit and that is doing these double. But, Mel, grandmother? What are you doing here? Grandmother? What are you doing here? I thought you were dead. I mean, I, uh... <laughs> That's right, Mel. I, too, was convinced I was dead. Unfortunately, they didn't let me rest in peace. Evil spirits and demons recently invaded the graveyard, and since then have been disturbing the peace of all good souls. But I don't want to hang around here any longer, Mel. Please, send these creatures back to the underworld again. I know you are very special and can do it. Help me. The crypt is just over there. That's right, Mel. I, too, was convinced I was dead. Oh, that's quite a responsibility. But what the heck? I'll help you, Granny. Even if only for all the beautiful lullabies you used to sing to me. Yeah, let's hope this doesn't happen too often. Oh, that's yeah. quite a responsibility. Uh, you are doing the right thing, my darling. I will now open the door to the crypt for you. You I are don't. doing the right I don't trust her for some reason. For your own safety, I'm giving you this magic fireball spell. To ignite it, open your character menu. Move the cursor. Melvin, my and dear. there goes the poor wall again. Safety. Good luck, Melvin. Give the souls of our dear departed their long-awaited peace back again. And never forget that you are very special. Good luck, Robin. Hello, Hello for, for my old friend. We are seeing each other again. Now we have our first spell, Fireball. Though, I, is, uh, let's see. R, okay. Let me say this about everyone run. <laughs> They never boost sweat when the healer has fireball. Never. Uh, good. And now we're locked. Damn, it's locked. I'll have to think of something else. I think it looks pretty bad. I think it's pretty bad to tell, hard to tell in this lighting, but I think that's supposed to be the gold lock. Oh dear. And oh, also you checked up the book. R U M is room. Is Swedish. Water is the guardian of our life. Uh, oh, we get into this now. Elemental stuff. Nope. And yeah, we're of course Dang. not going to leave us alone for that long. This door can only be opened from the other side. And this says the very same. You could just put a plaque on top of it instead of making two whole obelisks for that. Either way though, copper key. Hmm. I, th I think we actually talked a bit about this last time during the mini dungeon uh, in Dreamer Town. But it could just as well be copper plated instead of just made entirely out of copper. And of course it wouldn't be equipped without any skeletons. That could make sense, since uh, 
copper plate that we prevent it from rusting. Okay, that's locked. No, that's just closed. We can't open it. Okay. This had red on it earlier, and we, I think we healed from it a bit. And Oh, actually. Um, do we need to push this? Yes, we definitely do. Okay, there's two buttons. And there are two of these. Okay. Simple enough. Every, uh, every adventure game has a puzzle like this. Just put them both on one of the on one of the plates and done. I think there's some exceptions to the rule, but yeah, exceptions. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, yeah, these things drain your health. These little ticky fox throw, throw bones at you. So we definitely have one to pick with them. Uh, yeah, I kind of forgot that those things light the hell up. Oh, and we actually get drawn in by the... Oh, that's just mean. There we go. At least we have a ranged weapon of our own now. And we are keeping a stable supply of the healing, you know, of the healing supplies at the moment. Luckily enough. Mm -hmm. And also, I, I heard the phrase of tossing a bone, but this is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, yes, people made a pun before Helion did. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a pun as old as well, not really a pun, but it's a saying as old as time itself, basically. Uh, uh, oh, are you hello. ignoring the coin? Now it's on the fire. Uh, okay, just close enough. See, some come you can fool me. I did a greedy. As long as you're all careful, and uh, don't go full all out as Quark. Yeah. Actually, Quark is actually careful. Well, careful compared to other greedy characters. Yeah. He's greedy, but he's not stupid greedy. Exactly. And so we have that button there that we missed, actually. And yes, it will go off even if you just jump over it. Okay, no timer or anything. Timers would be, well, clicking. And, okay, if anyone was looking at this from the side, Melvin probably looked drunk there with how he was swaying back and forth. <coughs> yeah, this is the best way for me to control the game. Even if it might... Well, move things around quite a bit. And more chalk. We'll probably just sell the chalk because these act the uh, these dungeons aren't actually that complex. Oh, there we have a timer. Okay, and anti venom that doesn't bode well for us or end our health. This music here sounds familiar. Okay, I think I see what's going on. If we if we step on that button that way, it'll also open up one of these doors. So we open this one up. Set this one off. And pass through. There we go. Oop. Ah, yeah, there we go. And let's see. Completely con cures poisoning, treats poisoning. Ah, yeah. I'd forgotten that bit. 
uh, the anti-venoms may might take multiple to uh, cure it. What? And that's just to get back, I think. So yeah, all the more reason not to get hit with these shotgun mummies. Or by these shotgun mummies. That, that's also a bad system for anti-venom. Especially now that we're out, and it actually turns Melvin a bit green. Uh, that just means he needs to, you know, find a bucket or a corner to, you know, yeah. hell a bit. Yeah, he'd probably he'd probably keep the uh, the the shed guard company for a bit. Oops. I don't actually know if the poison goes away on its own or not. Hmm. If not, then we'd better hope that one of these hides some... Yeah, <clears throat> hides an antidote. Oh no. Oh, oh, it actually went away on its own. Okay. So that's good to know. I really hope that all this turning doesn't cause any you know, possible nausea or anything. Uh, I'm fine. Uh, let's see, we can pull you out, but we can't really move you anywhere because there's a lid there. Oh, actually, I, I say that and I immediately spot where we need to go with this. Nothing else? Nope. So up the big ass stairs. And more undead. Oh, I should be. Might have been a bit of a waste with that one. Okay. Let's see, what do you say? Keep your eyes open and remember well what you see. Ah, yeah, it's one of these puzzles. Okay, two there and two there, and hey. hello. Yeah, another key. Hello. And we can heal at this thing again, but we are almost full. Okay. Let's see. I think it was... Can I pull this one back? Nope, there's no space. Also, for more... Uh, can I turn the... Look at that face. <laughs> okay, then we pull this one back. And... Come on, Melvin, grab the box. There we go. Simple enough. Don't forget your poor him scene. I'm not sure if we ever see another puzzle like that again. I don't think so. They don't actually, they don't really copy, you know, how, they don't really copy puzzles too often here, I think. It's gonna be good. Damage. Dude, again, zero damage. What is that about? Maybe it's a luck thing? Or do we even have a luck stat? No, we don't. Hmm. Oh well. There we go. Okay, I think I know, know why I recognize the music. How so? Many games have done ga music very similar to this one. Yeah. Okay, that spoke of what could show you the way. Yeah, and also it's not a criticism, it's still good music, just... Yeah, if it sounds familiar, that might be why. Yeah. Uh... Hmm. Place looks like a dead end.
Mm. Does it look like a dead end to me? Hold on, I think I remember something here again. I think one of... Oh. I think one of these walls is fake. And... Okay, now that's just an outline on... Uh, between the wall textures, that's in every one of them. Hmm. Oh. This one seems out of place. There we go. Get a full heal. Uh, healing fire pit? I'm used to healing wells, but healing fire pit? Okay. Uh, Heal fire has its place in healing, uh, specifically with, well, sealing wounds and such. Uh, so I don't think we... That camera angle. There we go. True, but use the, the healing fire is not common in magic games. Yeah. There are exceptions like cleansing fire, but yeah, usually not. And the only time I, I have seen any, uh, in, in, even an anime do healing fire, is only one so far, and that's Castlevania. Mm, yeah. And I appreciate that, but that makes sense. Okay. Okay. The isometric view isn't too helpful at times with combat like this. Yeah, especially when they can be hidden behind pillars. I'm coming after you now. I think and it, yeah, when the camera games... is above a wall. I think all the more, more modern isometric games uh, learn to do so. If you go behind the pillar, you can see through the pillar at least, or behind the wall. Yeah. And okay, that was the one specific way that we had to break to get out of here, apparently. Oh, come on. Come on. Anti venom potion. Mana potion. Break the rest of them because, well, it's an RPG. What else are you going to do? Stack them up and make something out of them. Oh, you can make a castle, a, a castle box, a box castle. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the game is limited to only allowing some one thing to be hit at a time. I think they were both. I think both the mummy and the shade were in hitting distance there, but only one could be hit at a time. Well, that's kind of realistic. Mm, true. It says if we slide through one, the speed of the next slice, if at all, is likely dampened. And this kind of puzzle. Okay, oh, that no. one is the first and second. there be a, a third? Or is it... Wait, there's no was here, so you probably need to go in and out. Uh, yeah, that's really it. Mm, no, oh, we what? need to... We need to have all three of them open with only two buttons. Who uh, have you? Or down. I think I saw another button there. Yeah, it, the, the obelisk says uh, this one resets. Oh. Okay. So, it, what if we do left and then right? That actually did nothing. Huh. Okay. 
Am I here? Roars? We're back to this. And if I press this one... The blast closes. Okay, I'm guessing the, the trick with this one is that it affects uh, them in turn. The first, the second, then the third. As long as one thing is open. And, well, this one opens up the first. So there we go. Okay, I'll show you what we can do about, about that puzzle. Hmm. What did the box ever do you? Uh, I'm too used to game. Oh, I, think I we found need an this amulet. One. It's got the name Ankh written on it. I wonder what that means. Perhaps it even has magic properties. I think I better wear it. Yeah, we better wear this. It's automatically crit even. Makes ghost visible. I'm not sure if there's a re I should I'll double check in a second if there is a quick key come on you careful Wait. fireball you know uh, let's see let's use tool okay there is no quick button for healing items and yes I, I should use the spell more it just to get it's a bit annoying because I have to use the same you know, finger to well do this to do this. So I, I also need them to be lined up. Okay, sounds like they made a, a little bit of a bad uh, mass magic system. Yep. Yeah, this was supposed to be able to be controlled with the mouse a bit a lot as well, which it does it works a lot better with. And yeah, if we didn't have the Ankh equipped, these would of course be invis invisible. Oh, yeah, 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 that would be just annoying. That. Okay, yeah. No one of you is still around. There we go. No, Dicky. And yeah, golden key. So now we can get out of here. I think we have enough to buy several burgers with this. There we go. And, oh. Let's hope it doesn't double up. Melvin, Melvin, you've done it. I'm free again at last, and the whole nightmare is over. Oh, you are a good boy. Never lose faith in yourself and your abilities. Grandmother, wait. Stay here. I've got so many questions. I can't stay any longer, my darling. But you are on the right path. Take this healing potion from me. It heals serious wounds. Have faith, Melvin. A great mission awaits you. Yeah, I recognize the voice actress as well. <laughs> so we're many, many, a little bit we hmm? Huh? Yeah, we're going to need to check uh, IMDB after we're done with this game. Yeah, if it's like this is so far back that you, they have tons of uh, what would be considered today voice uh, actor veterans. Yeah, and that took the entire night. So now we can go back to the blacksmith and get that what? key and get into here. What were you mean? It only took about one hour. Not the entire night. Yeah, Gothos' uh, day night cycle is rather screwed up if it only gives people an hour. Ugh. 
I've just finished the key. Here, take it. By the way, I happen to know that your father keeps a diary. Perhaps you can find out more about his absence if you find the diary. I think I, I'm, I think I'm going to try and cut out every portrait in the game. Just for the fun of it. Uh, just to have them as reaction posts. And okay. I'm guessing the black, the black face, <laughs> the blacksmith's face, that <laughs> was a gaff. Uh, I'm guessing I could use oh. his face like a, oh yeah. <laughs> I'll be bonking later, people. Don't worry. Um, that's a big ass diary. This must be my father's diary. I think I should read it. But hey, you were right. Sixth moon cycle, fourteenth day. Yeah, I found several strange runes scribbled on paper and scraps of paper. Couldn't decipher them. Perhaps a message from the past. Fifteenth day. Discovered a crack in the mine wall today. Seems to be a large tomb hidden behind it. I could make out stone shells, but nothing clear since it was misty down there. I must get nearer to it. Sixteenth day. Had to help carry explosive charges into the mine today, so I couldn't continue my investigations at the crack. Seventeenth day. The earth near the power station was torn open by an earthquake today. It gives me the chance to investigate the burial chambers, as they must be very close to it. Eighteenth day. Spoke to several friends and the mayor. We will undertake a secret mission tonight and go down into the cha into the crater. We must find out what else awaits us down there. Oh, that yeah, that sounds concerning. Yeah, that's why a bunch of people are missing. And that's it. Hmm. Oh dear. Oop. Ah, Melvin, there you are! Have you found what you were looking for? Anything new about the whereabouts of your father? Yes. Luckily, I found his diary. On the last page, he mentions a crater in Steamer Town out of which the monsters emerged. Do you know more about it? Where is the crater? Has it always been there? Well, now, I could tell you what I know about the present situation, but I think our mayor can explain it better. He's coming this way anyhow. Melvin, I wish I had told you before, but I am the one who sent your father and three others down into the crater. They are on a kind of secret mission. Of course, I'm aware of that. And what was that, that Metal Gear steamer? <laughs> Did you all feel that just now? It's as though another earthquake was approaching. Great boiler! That must have been a power station. I must make sure everything's okay. Why don't you make yourself useful? We can use all the help we can get right now. Okay, I think there was supposed to be more noise there. A bit more than just one piece of debris. Can we pass yeah, now? Very well. You may now enter Steamer Park. Steamer Park? I, th I thought this was the scrapyards. Or is that a different way? Wait, this is not Disneyland? <laughs> no. My husband is the chief engineer here. He's got his hands absolutely full right now and needs all the help he can get. You can always find him near the power station in Steamer Park. Won't you go to him and see if you can help him? I would feel easier if I knew he wasn't the only one having to deal with all these problems. Do you know, I haven't seen him for days now. She sounds a bit out of breath. At or just... very tired. The water shortage is hitting the poor chief engineer the hardest when he needs it so urgently to cool the power station down. 
Unfortunately, he still hasn't found a way to get the pump by the reservoir working again. The control wheel is missing, and although something similar could surely be found in the scrapyard, no one dares go there anymore because of the strange squeaking. What about you? Can you repair the pump? Yeah, again, that's strange squeaking stuff. Or sound. That stopped it. As easy as that. Yeah, I'd, I'd actually completely forgotten about this place. Let's see. This must be the Thanks power station. Or a... Whatever's what have you forgotten about? Uh, plenty, probably. And yeah, here is where the rest of the leaks are. Hmm. Okay, so we need at least one more cork. Hopefully we don't have to buy it from Quark. Uh, reminds me, the, we have a Swedish insult that involves Quark. Oh? Quark skalle. It basically means uh, Quark skull or Quark head. <laughs> it, it basically will be to say, hey, this someone stupid. That's enough oil. A numb That'll skull. keep things running smoothly. Ah, right. We finished that a bit ahead of time. Well, yeah, we needed oil for that mechanism. I'm really very busy at the moment, but if you have come to help, you're more than welcome. Parts of the power station have exploded, and the rest is threatening to overheat. We really must cool it down with water. There's a reservoir over there, but the pumping station has broken down. If you could get the pump mechanism working again, we could flood the water tanks in the power station, but there's hardly any time. Can you help me? First, stop up all the leaks in the pipelines. Then, you must take the control wheel to the pumping station so that you can flood the tanks again. On no account, forget to check the oil level in this machine. Just here on the back. You may have to add a little more oil to lubricate the hydraulics properly. Lastly, we have to equalize the water level in all three tanks using the valves on them. Do you want me to repeat that again? Uh, no. <laughs> and luckily they don't bring up a yes or no option. The control wheel is missing. Did you eat it? No. Nope, cork. Is that the last one? Uh, we'll probably see if we'll get experience sparkles or not when we put it in. You want to go to the scrapyard? Sure, there's a way to get in there. But only true steamers are allowed into the scrapyard, and they're the ones who can play heaven and hell really well, like me. I'm the champion. Do you want to play heaven and hell with us? Do you want to be a proper steamer? Well, I'll show you how to do it, and then it's your turn. Uh, um... Yeah, th this is actually required. Okay. Three, four, five... Holy... <laughs> yeah, she can jump. Now it's your turn. Start with one. Wait, that's... That's heaven and hell. Okay, I expect this to be more dangerous with that name. Very good. But that was just a warm-up. Now let's make it a little harder. I th yeah, this is actually required to get into the scrapyard, I think. Yeah, wait, okay. ain't this hopscotch? Sort of, yeah. Okay. Now six and two are added. Now it's your turn. Start with one. Okay. <laughs> you went yeah. wrong there. Want to try? Go on. Show us, dream. Yeah, I'm excellently miss. Yeah, I actually stepped on three there. That wasn't bad, but now I'll show you how we real steamers do it. Okay. Yes, this is basically Simon says in platforming. Okay, same as before. Then three again, and then one. Now 
it's your turn. Jay. Respect, Melvin. You've proved that true steamer blood flows through your veins. Alright. Follow me. I'll show you the way to the scrapyard. How she know your name? Uh, yeah, old game. <laughs> Thanks, Spalk. I'll try to discover the secret of this scrapyard. In contrast to heaven and hell, this should be as easy as pie for me. Uh. Is there anything interesting in the scrapyard? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we need to get in there to get a new control uh, wheel. But first, let's use that cork. And it does look like it's going to be the last one. Yeah, I think this is the moment... I think this is the moment where some will come, will come up to say, So, you're chosen death. As quick you the scrap yard. Uh, you'll see what's in there. And it ain't no rat. Rat, I will do. Someone's come to do something about this monster. I've been standing around waiting for hours. The council was going to send someone to tackle the scrap monster. But who are you exactly? You look a little thin for a warrior. Are you sure you've got the guts to face that beast all alone? Even though it can hardly move, I wouldn't want to face it alone. I wish you luck anyway. Yeah. <laughs> It looks like a Scrap Heap Challenge went a bit overboard. What the... It's Scrap Golden? Uh, no, so yeah, if you don't have enough mana for a spell, you basically become Jubilee from X-Men. <laughs> yep. Ooh. Better be careful. Because this thing still hits like a truck. Okay. Probably ate the truck. <laughs> it is going down pretty quickly though. Especially if we can just harass it from out of its range. Now, <laughs> hit on the ass for our trouble. Oh. And there we go. Well done. Even more in those. And there we go, a control wheel. Well and, done. Yeah, simple enough. It the main the main trouble with that thing is just how amount of damage it can deal out. Hooray! The beast is dead. Now at last, I can take care of my house again. For a dreamer beanpole, you're not a bad fighter, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Old? The, the, that that's new. That's new. Is there anything interesting in the scrap? Well, not anymore. We don't want to play just now. All right. That activates the next puzzle. I just realized that sound there is also stock for, uh, stock sound. Yeah. Um. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure if many of those stock sounds started with this game, or if they were already in use before. Already in use. 
already in use. Okay. Even in um, even in old cartoons, some of them were in use. Then again, many Dean companies didn't have the budget. Yeah, you know. Hmm? Budget. Yeah, budget. So stock uh, sounds were very important. And do remember, back then, you could make a completed game in, like... Eureka! It's working! What a relief! The danger is over. The power station will now cool down slowly, and we can finally devote ourselves to rebuilding the houses. My friend, you've really helped to save our city. Einstein? Yep, <laughs> that's a joke. Where? What's the matter? Melvin, I believe it is time to leave. I absolutely must show you something. And it seems we're getting thrown out of the second town. <laughs> uh, right, I was going to say, back then, many of these games were made, even before, many games were, could be made in eight months or less. Which means a lot of cores will have to be caught. We wish you luck, Melvin. Bring Godan back to us. I swear I will find my father. Be assured our young friend will make it. After all, he's a chip off the old block. What? He's talking about the crater here. I think we could have... Yeah, we could have walked around this earlier. Come on, we've got no time to lose. But before you leave us, we would like to present this ring to you. We call it the Ring of Life, because it reduces the effects of poisons on your body and promotes natural healing and regeneration. Perfect! Yep. And, yeah, we just completely missed this thing while we walked around. game over wow what a fall i'm glad my bones are all still intact i wonder how father got down unhurt hmm so this is the hive a bit damp and uncomfortable for my liking i hope i find the others soon i do like this portrait here yeah it looks a bit different from the other one we keep seeing and yeah, we get dropped straight into level three, and uh, yeah. Dinner! <laughs> Spiders Perfect. aplenty. Oh yeah. Spider stew, spider kebab, red spider legs, delicious. Want some? No. Oh, well, more for me. There we go. Now, I believe there are spawners for these things as well. Ah, here they are, actually. But these we can actually kill. Finally. Wait. Uh... Did I see that right? Right, that the spawners look like faces or sorts. Yeah, not only that, when you keep it, there's a lot of red stuff and green stuff. Yeah. Lovely. Again, ages three and up. <laughs> um, I wonder if we should mention this to Hex. Yeah, we could. We could also have him watch the streams after. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure he doesn't actually know this game. And, oop. There we go. I'd actually forgotten that there are stalagmites in this area as well. And yeah, we can step on the smaller lava to kill them. Oh. But that does also kill the light. Yeah, and hmm. wait, I see a little green light around here. Oh no. Oh no. What are you thinking Warp about? Warpstone. Warpstone. <laughs> wait up. I'd forgotten about those things. What the heck was that? Those. And so we have to deal with Skaven, don't we? Yeah, these grates, they have random tentacles stabbing out from them. And I believe from here on, most of the levels start to get a bit, uh, pretty, a lot more linear. I'll take that, thank you. And I'll set this off and open the other path. Okay. Uh, get rid of that. Okay, let's just get rid of these things. And yeah, of course, the spiders freaking jump, even if it's only a little bit. I thought I just heard something big. It was just all skewed the same. Um. Go to sleep, go to sleep, you big angry monster. <laughs> Go to sleep, go to sleep. You may snack on Helion's leg. Oi. <laughs> you see that the one coming, did ya? Okay. Annoyingly, the spiders have a moment of invulnerability after being spawned. And I forgot about those. Heck yeah. Part of me doesn't uh, isn't sure if we I'd want a remake of this game just because of this area. Yeah, but this means they would be able to make it more even more disgusting. Oop. Yeah. And I was rolling around. <laughs> no, actually, not only disgusting, more disgusting and horrifying. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, it can get real annoying having to deal with them when they get that close to you. Let's see. Yes, we got all areas there. Let's check this way. And it closes behind us. Great. That, well, there, there's a great here, but not that kind of. Oh, <laughs> Here we go. It does look like the spells track a bit. And we're dealing a good amount of damage. Oh. That's... The heck hit me there. They were already... Re they were already retreated. Might be it was something like a split second. The animation was not done. It was yeah, enough for you to get maybe. Looks vulnerable uh, and you know bloody. I, 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 I don't want to say the word. So as, as you say the word, those things just came from, from the roof and almost killed you. <gasps> this is awful. Looks as though someone tried to get out, but the ceiling must have caved in while he was standing here. Ages three and up. Uh, I feel like that's going to be the meme of this series. <laughs> yeah. 
And on that we can add, uh, well, acknowledging death of family members as well. Good granny. I can't, I don't know if I, if these things should look derpy or disgusting, because they, they look derpy. I'm gonna mix up a... Like a blobfish. Nope, almost there. Alright, uh, better come better, an evil blobfish. I think we've spoken of blobfish before, and the reason that they look so stupid is because they're supposed to be living uh, under a lot more pressure than surface pressure. Yeah, they look different deep on the sea, and I think I heard people say they looked a bit more pretty, but as quick as you put them to the surface, they just Blip. collapse. Hmm? Yeah, I, I think they're supposed to look like anglerfish or something. Oh, not again. Uh, well, at least what was that? Yeah, less derpy. Less derpy and sad. Okay, you missed a little corner there. Um, there, but it's just filled with spiders, so let's ignore that place. <laughs> Oh, yep. More of these bumper beetles. Yep. Yeah, they will just bounce around a while. And of course they hit hard and fast. Let's see. This way. Yep, spawner. A chest or... Is that the chest? Yep. Hmm. And mushroom. Wait. You know what? Don't eat the mushroom. Yeah. I wouldn't touch anything that would grow in here. At the very best, it would make you sick. Yeah. That makes me wonder. How would it be if you had a... An Massive mushroom cap, cap as a roof. Yeah, you'd have spores to deal with, likely, unless it was treated somehow. Yeah, I can see the spores being an issue. Unless you put it on top of a flat roof. Mm -hmm. yeah, now we also have these stupid flies to deal with as well. Killer. Yeah. Caterpillars, spiders, Henry. Oh, wait, there's caterpillars, spiders, Henry, flies, and spider spitters? And more spider spawners, or spider nests. Okay. Then, yeah, just because that ring... Uh, actually, did we have... Uh, where is that ring? Or, oh, here it is. There we go. That should, well, hopefully at least lessen the effect of this uh, poison. Do we actually have anything... Oh, hello. Mystic Wisdom replenishes mana. Mystic Strength increases effect of potions. Uh, charge attack magically charges weapons. And Mystic Energy Drain drains and yeah, yeah, drains opponents' life energy. Okay. So that's what Mystic uh, thing is for. Okay. So I might be worth yeah. right to leveling it. Yeah, after, maybe after all. But for now, I think we should. Primarily focus on our health. Uh, let's see. Anything in the corner here? Yes, there is. Large healing potion. Probably a bit of a waste to use now, but still nice to have. 
They'll, oop, they'll become more useful as our constitution grows bigger. I don't know if those spawners just keep making spiders until they run out or something, or if they ever run out, or if they just keep, uh, or if they allow for only a limited amount on the field or something. So honestly, I don't want to go and find out. Yeah, but you, you expect them to have a limit to avoid like a severe yeah. crash? And it, it, I. It does look like they stop after a few. And next chamber. Yes, jump right in, don't you? Yeah. Nope. A bit too overly eager. More eager to get the hell out of here. Oop. But then you're going the wrong way. There, I see you. Um... Also, <laughs> you said something about the call earlier and didn't finish? Uh, several what? Ark. Ark, Ark, what? Ark. C H A L K. Uh, chalk. Yes. I must have made, overlooked those. And yeah, if we fall down here, or it's another death. So yeah, let's I not. Ask, I asked you about. You said something about them earlier. Uh. The last I, I think I brought up chalk was at the store, which when we found out we could sell it. Yeah, but did you, I don't think, did you finish to say what, uh, why you were to sell them? Uh, because the, the levels aren't that difficult. They're mostly linear, so you, you don't even really need them. And plus you have a map. Okay, so that makes me wonder, why is the call giving in the game then? You, you say it like CH uh, with, with a K instead. Probably due to my accent, for we pronounce it as... Oh, wait. Yeah, you I think it's due to my accent, we pronounce it as another word, like calc. Yeah. How are we You're call those in, in the Swedish... Dutch way. Yeah, the, in Sweden, we just call those things uh, krita. Okay. And, oh, yeah, obviously it's, it's not a death pit. <laughs> This is also the same word we use for Cretaceous. Yeah, same here. Uh, let's see, anything on the outskirts? And fun uh, fact, people! Pushable boxes. Helian cannot pronounce it Cretaceous. Cretaceous. Uh, whoa, okay, that's probably the first time I hear you pronounce it correct. <laughs> or was it the probably that you can spell it correctly? Possibly that as well. <laughs> Yeah, uh, let's see. C C R E T A uh, Crete yeah, C uh, I O U S. I think that I have a time knowing if I can see it. <laughs> oh. But yeah, when me and he watch Camp Cretaceous together, he usually either wrote or said by mistake Camp Cretacean. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. Let's get rid of these reaper looking bugs. And yeah, it took me for a while to realize he he didn't say it intentionally. He was saying a mistake. <laughs> but again, I thought he was trying to pull my leg. Yeah, what, what a stupid thing hidden behind that. Yeah. Those things are what I would be modding call bullshit monsters. Almost missed this one. Luckily, it missed us. And yeah, now we're running low on healing items again. Uh, 
Okay. I think mm. people can see why I classify those things as bullshit monsters. Yeah, they're more like a, a hazard than a thing you can actually deal with. Not even like a hazard, it almost worse. Like a hazard you usually can't prepare for, but that one... Yeah, that, that one just comes from nowhere. Now you can see where they are. Yeah, but then you usually forget them. Those are some nasty ways. Are those dragonflies? Um, if they're supposed to be that, they don't really look like them. Uh, they, they look almost like a mix between dragonfly and a spider. A spider fly? It sounds horrifying. Uh, I believe there is one species of spiders that has developed wings. And yes, please oh, kill it with every nuke in the planet. On the planet. What? What? Yeah, I, I'm not going. I'm not going to freaking Google that. The only time I see flying spiders is is through Wrath of Lich, the expansion of World of Warcraft, where two of the starting areas of that expansion is being invaded by the undead spider people. And they have flying spiders. They are sort of where you always thought, what the heck? Yeah. Hmm. Ah, no, it's not a dead end. It just continues here, or not. Hmm. Okay, this place is getting a bit mazy. So now you need some Krita? <laughs> no, I just have the map. Uh, let's see, north ways. Not north mm -hmm. way, <laughs> north ways. Uh, I saw that one coming, even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not the road to Norway. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Dude, what's map in Dutch? Cards. K double A R T. Oh, this that's gonna confuse so many English folks. <laughs> Another fun linguistic bit is uh, Rust. Yeah, oh, oh, that's a bunch of them. Uh, the du in Rust in in Dutch means rest. Yeah. And if if you put an O before uh, before the E, you get the Dutch word for rust. Which oh, is I pronounced, yeah. Which is pronounced, which is pronounced like roost. Oh bloody heck! <laughs> yeah, if I were the reason Netherlands, I'm still gonna ask you to make sure I don't do something stupid due to mixed translation. <laughs> and for people curious, map in Swedish, uh, it always went Swedish there. Map in Swedish is. Korta. It's spelled the same way as you spell it, just with an AA at the end. Okay. And we also use cart for like a uh, letters. Letter. When you send someone a letter, you are sending them a cart. Uh, oh, I think it. Okay, we have something similar. We have Kurt. K O R T. Kurt. Card. Okay, K O R T. That in Dutch means short. You, you finally confess you're short? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, okay, that. that, that but K O R T is short here. <laughs> yeah, then it's also a short word. We, we share the same word for short. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Spiders. We call this, call this K O R D. I think ah. we said it earlier. K O R K K R 
Oh. Are we a brain forced? <laughs> Apparently. Oh wait, <laughs> I think this is a case of using one word for two things. Yep. Or it's so damn similar spelled. Like one is for short, cost, and one's for card, cut. What the? And yeah, it's pretty obvious that the the swing that you see the weapon make that's not uh, the entire hitbox of the weapon. It's aims forwards. Pretty much only. Oh dear. Fuck off, you wannabe harbinger. Uh, harbinger? They, they look like the they look like the Reaper from Mass Effect. Oh, that's why it's uh, didn't uh, ring a bell for me. Yes, people. Sorry, I'm not. I try to play. Mass Effect. Yes. Yeah, I did, didn't it work out. They didn't even get out of the tutorial levels. <laughs> well, I guess we could call that a good reason to stream it eventually. Oh, for, I saw the shadow again. It was mostly a problem of... Uh, I was so uncomfortable with controls. Yeah, Mass Effect 1 is... Uh, janky. Um, actually, in my case, that one was the one that worked well. The Yankees and most trouble I had to get working was second game. Yeah, okay. They barely went to the start. That's odd. Yeah, oh. very odd. Okay, for a moment I thought that thing was a spawn, but nope. Oh, come but, on. Yeah, when I did get it working, I just gave up shortly after halfway to the tutorial. I felt like I can't handle these controls. Yeah, it's it's also a game that you get the most out of if you if you've played the previous uh, ones and imported your save data over to the next one. Uh... Oh, yeah. We could put uh, the Mass Effect series on the to-do list. It would be sure? a very, very long one, though. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, we could and focus mostly a... on stuff that actually has an effect in later games. Yeah, no, here's another thing. It's a very... How to say this? Mature game? Yeah, the sex scenes aren't all there is to it. You actually have to go for it, uh, them. Yeah, I I've never actually played through the entire trilogy uh, with transferred save data. Yeah, I've played Same. one and two with, well, two with data transferred from one, but three never because I kept losing my freaking save games. Oh, hello. And I didn't want to keep repeating the games over and over. Melvin, my boy, I'm beside myself with joy to see you. I... I can't quite believe it. What a stroke of luck. Are you all right? What are you doing here? Why aren't you with your mother in Dreamer Town? Oh, we uh, kind of almost got lynched. Another voice I to recognize. Father, I'm so happy I found you at last. I've searched for you for so long. I'm so relieved you managed to escape from the spiders and those other creatures. Me too, believe me. My poor companions' thirst for knowledge lost them their lives. But we found out a great deal anyway. We thought that the beasts came from underground, from a kind of underworld. And it seems we're being proved right. At least, that's one of the reasons there are so many of them down here. They creep along, slowly but steadily and make their way up into our cities and threaten everything and everyone. What a horrible thought. But you could be right. I've seen plenty of spiders and other little beasts down here. The first thing we need to do is to get ourselves out of here. Steamer Town, Dreamer Town, well, 
Actually, everyone who lives in Gothos is threatened. We must warn the others so that we can save our beautiful world. Oh, Mel, you suddenly seem so grown up. My brave son, you're quite right. But just listen to me for a minute. I've been studying the story of Gothos for a long time. And I know things like this happened here once before, at the time of the Great Wars. Did you know that these wild beasts may have always been here? I'm convinced of it. Some recent event must have triggered their return to the surface. What are you trying to tell me? Will that help us right now? Why should I worry about the past, brood about it? But the danger is real and immediate here and now. If the former inhabitants of Gothos managed to find a solution to this threat from the underworld thousands of moon cycles ago, then the key to solving our current problems probably lies in the past. But now let's try to get out of here. But how? In the labyrinth behind me, there's no way out. I would have found it otherwise. We should have to walk through the walls to get out of here. I was just going to try out this special bomb on this wall here. Let's try it together. How does it okay. work? Always place the bomb very close to the object you want to blow up. Never stand close by when you have ignited it. To set it off, you must select it by placing the cursor under your mystical tools in the character menu. Press the action button to confirm your selection and close the... Very well, I understand. Let's start. Off we go. Hello, for for my old friend. <laughs> All right, son. Then let's take cover. Uh, Melvin, you might want to move a bit farther away where there's actual, you know, cover. Oops. Father, are you alright? Holy screwdriver, what a disaster! Now we've been separated from each other again! I don't understand. Yes, yes, I'm okay. I'm not hurt. But now we've been separated again, and we'll have to go our separate ways. You must take a deeper route into the mine to find a way out. Examine everything that comes into your hands. And Mel, don't forget that we must warn the other peoples in Gothos. You may well be the only one who can save this world. I hope we will see each other again soon, my son. It isn't too noticeable with the big-ass light on his helmet, but if you look at Godon's mustache, you can see that it's blue. Yes. So yeah. You want the blue mustache? No, Melvin got his hair color from his father. I shall follow ah. your advice, father. But let's not lose valuable time now. It's so good to find you alive. Take care of yourself. I would like to see you again soon. Okay. Sometimes I feel that like the dialogue seem a little bit off. Stiff. What? A bit stiff, maybe? Yeah, kind of stiff. <sighs> yeah, it is an old game. The industry was still growing, and yeah. True. And if it was German, I would not be surprised if there's some translation errors. Yeah. I, <laughs> we know what happened with the uh, all your base are belong to us translation attempt. Uh, wait, 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 you can repeat that? <laughs> oh. Uh, I've told this story before, but it's basically, you know, it was a Japanese company that didn't want to bother uh, hiring a translator, so they decided to do it themselves, which well led to lines like, uh, we have been set up the bomb, uh, and all your base are belong to us. <laughs> Since become absolute memes. Okay. We have talked okay, about it before. Okay, we'll call that, yeah. Oh dear. Still, it is far from the absolute worst. And now we can actually one-shot most of these things. Oh, I say that then this one survives. Yeah, I... I think the spiders have 16 health, to be exact. 
And yeah, now we the got our bomb. Call, uh, the vehicle hearing the Warhammer rule books were rather infamous within Spanish uh, uh, language. Oh. Uh, a lot of mistranslations. Is a big big can greet? Probably what you don't want for a massive rubok mistranslation for a very complex board game. Yeah. Giri double the game workshop were not even cheap on that. So even to harm on their very old comics they had back then. And yeah, we can use the bomb in combat. Oh. Probably not a good idea. They are they are Warhammer comics. Yeah. Old ones. Re you're talking about from the 80s. Yeah, because 40k is almost as old as its own year count. <laughs> yeah, and I say this, people. The lore from the first and second edition of Warhammer Fantasy was, uh, and even 40k was, Cringe worthy. And then again, m almost everything from the 80s was cringe as all hell. Yeah. Uh, I like, see you there. Here's the thing before Norska was Chaos Worshippers, they were just Fantasy Vikings. And there was a story about some Norskan who called his longship Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, and you talk about Zubak that the original was that Sigmor was a space marine that landed on the planet. Yeah. Uh, so of course, like some times. Amazons and Lisman had, uh, well, before Lisman, it was Slan, yes, so they had space marine weapons. Uh, like that, uh, universe doesn't have enough, you know, temporal, uh, time travel shenanigans going on. Yeah, luckily they separated them. This probably was for the best. There you go. And I see, I think I remember something else that was just... Derpy? Oh yeah. Here's a faction they, ha they, they probably gonna need to do the most rewriting of, and that's Nippon. Japan? Yeah, uh, they, they have, it is in Warhammer Fantasy and it's... That's it is. They probably are, uh, are ashamed, so ashamed that they early mentioned it in order. They have small, made some small mention, but they're gonna have to rewrite it heavily for... It's so stereotypical that it's near racism. Yeah. And here's the thing, that Nippon in this setting, the Nippon God was named after a orange called called the Orange Shimta. It's probably the Japanese version of a bubble car. And uh, almost yeah. every hero was named after a car or bike company. So you, you likely had has... someone called Mitsubishi there. Actually, yes. So, yeah. Like, if they had at least some steady ground you could rework or just give upon. Same with Ind, but Nippon? They have. They probably almost need to remake that from the ground up. Yeah, the way I would play it off would be by saying that that early lore was just uh, propaganda. No, I think they're just gonna... Like, here's the thing. When they removed squats for the first time of the second uh, edition, they just already mm -hmm. said, we, we made mistakes by with squats. Like, why the heck do we need the squats? That's a horrible name. 
Or and they also confessed that they, like they. Yeah, and they also confessed that they wanted to bring space dwarfs theme proper, but they were only able to do it. They were disappointed that they made them so goofy. The squads were very goofy back then. All right. Okay, we have a big so, opening in here. Oh dear. And a button. Oh no, I expect something bad there. But yeah, Nippon probably gonna be the same that. Yeah, we wanted to rework it from ground software. We agree, that was horrible writing. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's get out of this pit. Uh, but then we'll have to call it because we are at the two hour mark. Uh, where is the way to get out of this place? Uh, I think you're really wrong. We have only two hour more hours. No. <laughs> Clean these out. I'm not sure if we get experience for any every animal enemy killed. We have 24 experience now. Okay, and now we have 24 again. Okay, it might just be a certain amount that we have to kill before we get experience. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see. Where is the? There is the exit. Okay, let's check the XP thing again. Is it changed? 25. Okay, so, hmm. Oh, well, let's head to the opening here. And yeah. Where's the top? Where is up? There we go. Save the hive. Yep, yep. Okay, I think I'm going to redo that save because I don't think we want to get immediately ambushed. There we go. Okay, overwrite that save. I would probably in yeah. fun uh, intro on the next stream. <laughs> if we hadn't caught it here, that is. Uh, yeah. Uh, we're making progress, and uh, yeah, this has happened before, apparently, according to Godon. Yeah, how much well, my itching? I got to go down in the books in the dream village. So yeah, the plot thickens. And I think the hive is generally rather short. I'm going off of memory here, of course, and well, I told of my memory plenty of times already. Uh, but after this is um Hmm. Which Okay, I remember the the level that I was thinking of. Uh, the one after this one is also linear, but the one after that is a more open world again. But right. of course, I won't. I'll I'll not spoil that. So for now, uh, let's exit this before it starts on the credits again. And yes, that is just a cheap ass way that I did that with the sidebars again. So just for the show, let's put that up. And let's see if there's anyone online to raid. And then we'll start with the ending. Okay, let's see. Do we have enough people up for the raiding? Uh, chat hasn't been active, and apparently NVIDIA has an update. Let me check if there's anyone in the uh, if there's anyone lurking with ch the chat program. Eh, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. I'll still go jump to somebody, uh, even if we're not with a raid then. Uh, yeah. Let's minimize that a bit. Uh, wait, what? Okay, I started the pro. I started it up and now it's... Okay, there are some people I know online that are streaming, but I'll just jump to them myself. All right. Uh, thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later, mostly later, probably. And thank you, as always, for here. You're most welcome, my friend. Uh, Thursday, we'll be continuing on, hopefully escaping the hive into the next level. Uh, I'll have corrected the borders of <laughs> the stream uh, window a bit. Uh, I might just go immediately out to shaving off those nine pixels and making it a fully 16 by 9 block. Uh, we'll have to, well, I'll, I'll have to see if I can remember 
because I still have a few days of job training to go after that. Uh, I'll, I've got a schedule, but that schedule we'll have to think about a bit. We'll have to think a bit about how we'll continue with the streams, because uh, yeah, I've been put into an early shift, uh, which means I'll have to go to bed a lot earlier. Which means that yeah, we're going to have to push the streams forward, and that might get in the way with dinner and such. So yeah, I'll have to see about those days. And be, so yeah, that's for the coming two weeks. That is that will be. Uh, after that, I'll just have to see what my schedule will have to be. Then we might have to plan in. Um, I I'll, I'll think about trying to design a bit of a roster, depending on what sort of shifts I could get assigned to. On yeah, if it obviously on late shifts, I won't be able to stream at all. Because then I would be at work at the moment. But for mm. yeah, for more for early or afternoon shifts, I'll have to see if we can stream then or not. We might yeah, we might have to move streams around a bit to other days if possible. But yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. For now though, uh, yeah, Thursday more techno mage. But until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for the incoming seagulls.